In this video, we're going to talk about the five steps that you need to do in order to become a freelance writer without experience. I landed my first freelance writing gig at $250 per article without any experience with freelancing. I did this by actually cold pitching clients that I wanted to write for. If you want to know how exactly I made this happen, then keep on watching. Hi there, my name is Jareen and on this channel, I write topics on writing, personal development and making money in a way that feels good and I hope that you follow along. For each step that I will walk you through, we're going to talk about exactly how long you need to do this for and what's the goal for each step so you know exactly why you're doing what you're doing. So I'm assuming that you don't have any experience when it comes to writing or you have very minimal experience but if you do have the experience and you want to know how to get paid right away, you can skip to step three and go from there. So the very first step that you need to do is build a writing habit. If you want to become a freelance writer, you are essentially creating your job as a writer. So you need to know whether writing is for you or not for you. And you can do this by simply building the writing habit. There is a couple of ways that you can build a writing habit. Number one, you can do it yourself. Starting today or tomorrow, you can wake up and start writing on your computer and do it for the next 30 days and figure out whether you like to do this. The second way that you can do this is by joining a community. So the program that I joined when I was trying to become a writer was a program called Ship 30 for 30. It is a program by Nicholas Skoll and Dickie Bush where essentially you post 30 atomic essays. So 30 essays in 30 days. The essays are really short, hence they call it the atomic essay. The goal in this step is to answer the question, is writing for me or not for me? And can you do this for a very long time? So again, if you're gonna become a freelance writer, it's basically going to be your job. So you might as well figure out whether this is for you or not for you now. Or now that you figure out that you like writing and you want to get into this whole world of writing. Now it's time for you to learn how to write a good article. I recommend spending one to three months in this step depending on how often you publish. If you're practicing or publishing more often, let's say about three articles per week, then I would say you would only need one to three months to learn how to write a good article. But if you're only publishing every week or once a week, then you would probably need a longer time. So you'd spend about six months or more when it comes to learning how to write a good article. So I think there's three levels when it comes to learning how to write. Level one is learning how to write. So basically learning how to put words into the page. That's it. Level two is learning how to write a blog post. So learning how to come up with the headlines, subheadings, the paragraphs, how to structure, how to format the article. Those all comes when it comes to learning how to write online. And then level three is learning how to solve a problem with your content. So this is really where your content is answering a problem for the reader so that they can actually learn something from it so that they can get a value out of it we're not just putting words for the sake of putting words we're actually figuring out what their problem is and using the content to actually solve a person's problem in this step you can really try to improve your art of writing by practicing a lot so writing every day getting feedback from people that you know or people online that you meet and also taking courses honing your skills in writing before you even try to pitch you're writing to other brands and companies. That's really what this step is about. It's about getting comfortable of what a good article is like. So the third step is figuring out what you like to write about. A lot of freelancers get confused whether do they have to have a niche when it comes to writing online or writing for other people. But the most important thing is learning what you love to write about. You would spend about three to six months in this steps because you're not gonna know what you like writing about until you actually write about them. Personally, I thought I loved talking about money and I only wrote a couple of articles about money but I never had talked about it again so I knew that that wasn't going to be my niche in the freelance writing industry. Your goal in this step if it wasn't obvious already is to find topics that you love writing about whether that's about travel, finance, relationship, wellness, mental health. There are so many topics around there and there are so many companies that will pay for those topics that you are writing about so but make sure that it's the topics that you care about that you don't mind researching hours for because that ultimately is what you're going to do for these people how do you do this how do you find out the topics that you want to write about one just write about things that are interesting for you and number two you have to track them so you can track them by either uh, using a notion template or an excel sheet 
you can basically track all the writing that you're doing and also uh, what topics they are, the category, the how much engagement is this post getting. So I use this when I wrote my 30 atomic essays and I also use this when I started writing on Medium. I, I wanted to know what topics I love writing about and what others loved hearing from me. By the way, you can write anywhere. You can write on Medium, Twitter, Quora. There's so many platforms out there or LinkedIn as long as you're writing on the platform online that's what you need to be focusing on when you're putting your content out there then you can start listening for signal when you're getting comments dm shares about all the topics you're writing about then you're getting a sense of what others want to hear from you so the fourth step after you know what you like to write about is finding a brand or a company that's going to hire you for the topic you want to write about this is the step where you'll learn how to cold pitch that means direct emailing the people or the brands or the companies that you essentially want to write for you're basically saying hey i have some great ideas or article ideas for your blog that i think your target audience will enjoy would you like me to write them for you that's essentially what cold pitching is in the freelancing world you're basically giving them your ideas and they will pay you for you to write it for them because you've done a lot of the effort into providing the ideas then you are in a very good position to, to write those ideas as well let's say you love to write topics on finance depending whether you are in the US or Canada then there are many companies that actually are our finance companies so for example what simple is a Canadian company what whereas Robinhood is a US company they essentially do the same thing when it comes to personal finance or helping people basically manage their money or invest in the stock market market index funds and all that stuff and then you'll go to like the blog section of each company and actually figure out what are the topics that's in this blog and while you're browsing their blog you can kind of come up with different ideas of like oh they didn't talk about this stuff but they've talked about this stuff maybe I can contribute my personal story when it comes to saving up investing learning how to pay your debt all of these are stories or ideas that you can pitch to the company that you want to write for. Your goal is to have three to five headlines that you're going to pitch to the company. After that, you'll find the person who's most likely to hire you, whether that's their marketing officer or their founder, anyone else in that company who can kind of direct you to the person who will hire you is really the best person to present your ideas to. You're also going to give them a summary of an outline of one of the articles that you're providing them. By doing this, you're essentially giving your idea in a silver plate it's going to be hard for them not to hire you so it's really important for you to bring as much value when you're emailing these people to, to help them know that you can help them as a writer you're the best person to write the story for them that's basically cold pitching 101 and that's something that I have learned through my freelance coach her name is Eva Gutierrez but basically that's what you want to do. You want to find companies and brands that align with the topics that you love writing about. You essentially want to do this cold pitching until you land your very first client. It might take a month or two months or it may take 10 pitches or 20 pitches, but at one point you're gonna land that client by doing this strategy. So at this point, you've probably sent out a lot of pitches and the goal is to really just get that first client to say yes to you and then repeat the process all over again. And from there, you can decide how much to charge them. I personally charge $250 for my very first article and then keep increasing your rates as you feel comfortable. But if you want to know more about how to charge your client, let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.